Hey, my name is Jesus Castello from rubyguides.com and in this video you're going to learn how to make your objects describe themselves. We have this code, it's a cat class and cats have a color and then I create two cats, a white cat and a black cat. So what happens if I try to print one of these cats? If I try to print white cat, what we get is this output. Not very useful, right? The only thing we can get from this is that this is an object from the cat class and this part is the identification of this object. But we can make this more useful by defining some methods on this class. What are these methods? The methods are inspect and to s, which means to string. Then what do we put in these methods? We put the description for this object. So if I run the code right now, nothing happens yet because we need to return a string. So let's do that. Let's say that we want the cat to describe itself as a bytes color. So for example, we can say, I am, I am a color cat. How about that? And notice when I run the code now, instead of getting that these numbers and the cat class, now it says I am a white cat. That's nicer, right? And we also want to define the inspect method because we do p instead of put. What p does is called inspect, not to s. So puts calls s p calls inspect so usually what you do is do this you alias inspect to to s so they return the same output as you can see now so both p returns i'm a white cat and puts returns i'm a white cat and of course if we change the cat we get i'm a white cat and a black cat right and of course you have split, complete freedom at what you put here, as long as what you return is a string. It has to be a string for this to work. And then you can put anything you want. You can have any kind of description. And you can also have the inspect different than the 2s if you want. Or you can leave the default inspect, which looks like this. This is also useful if you you want to leave it like this because you can see that there is an instance variable and the value of inst that instance variable. So that's for you to decide. But usually if you are going to define inspect, you can alias or you can create your own implementation, whatever you find more useful. And also this is useful when you are using string interpolation. Remember string interpolation is when we have some text, for example, we have this cat says, and then we put this symbol in here. And in here we can put any Ruby code. So we can put our right cat, white cat, and then we can put this. And we get this cat says, I'm a white cat. And that's possible because we have defined the 2s. So notice if I remove the 2s, we go back to this, even inside the interpolation. Right? You see that? But if I we define 2s, Ruby is going to use that as part of the interpolation. So it looks nice like this. So I hope you found this useful. 
If you did, please give me a like so I know that you like it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do it now because I will help you get more videos like this to keep learning and improving your Ruby skills. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.